I am Ilana Massad. Um, I'm a columnist from McSweeney's and I've published in some other places and I am going to talk about humor today. When I got accepted to McSweeney's as one of their column contest winners, I showed my friend the first column that I sent them and he read it and then he looked at me and was like, oh, I didn't know you were funny. And I found that kind of insulting, but it also made me think about my my brand of humor. And there are different kinds of humor. There's slapstick, there's word-based humor, there's idea humor, there's situation humor. So as an example of something that I find really funny, um, I wanted to read a little bit of this week's New Yorker. There is a piece called Bible System Updates by Megan Amram. And this is idea humor. This is what I find funny. So I'm just going to read a little bit. For optimal system performance, update your Bible as often as possible. Version 1.0. Original release. Heavens, earth, formless void. 1.1. Improved visuals with light expansion pack. Replaces darkness. 1.2. Land animal expansion pack. Zebras. Mice. Fish expansion pack. Eels. 1.3. Object expansion pack. Tools, human, female. Get it? So I think that this is hilarious, and I definitely suggest that you guys look this Shouts and Murmurs up. So then other kinds of humor are, there's the, there's a sort of jokey humor that's used in literature a lot. Um, in Sam Lipsight's The Ask. It's basically about a middle-aged white guy in New York who loses his job and thinks that the world, the end of the world is coming because of that, basically. Um, and everybody in his life kind of hates him and he doesn't realize it. Sam Lipsight uses a lot of sort of jokes, you know, like very much written down comedy bits in his writing. So for instance, there's one woman whose name sounds sort of like vagina. Her name is Bargina. And he thinks that that's hilarious. And the person who's filming this right now also thinks that's hilarious. Ideas also come out of the most random places. I heard a piece about how to write obituaries on this podcast called On the Media. And in this piece, they were talking about how obituaries are not even a thing anymore. People don't really write them unless it's for big famous people when it used to be just sort of a way to celebrate people's life in the paper and have someone who is known get known for something. When I was writing my pitch for McSweeney's, I suddenly realized, hey, Obituaries can be really funny. Death can be really funny. A lot of the times, humor comes from those unexpected places. So what I came up with was to write obituaries for children's literature characters. So for instance, in my first obituary column, I killed off Winnie the Pooh with diabetes because that's funny. So what I'm trying to say is what you think is funny Someone else out there will think it's funny. Even if your friends don't think it's funny. Someone else will. My friends originally thought that the killing off Winnie the Pooh thing was a little too dark and depressing. I thought it was funny. Turns out McSweeney's thought it was funny too, and that's great for me. But don't listen to people when they tell you that it's just not funny. Because if you think it is, someone out there also does. One thing that I think is very important is don't be too safe when you're doing humor. We live in an age of political correctness, and in many ways that's really good because we're learning to actually realize what is problematic for other people. But on the other hand, you need to remember that when you're writing, you need to write what you think is funny. You just do. So for instance, this Bible Systems Update piece is probably super offensive to some people, to anybody who's religious of any of the three major monotheistic religions who takes it seriously. That could be extremely offensive. If they see it as satire, they will understand that it's not offensive. For more updates and videos, either follow Inky Dumbbell's YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter at Rowan HLB. See you soon.